saying that this position system with one, two, three, four is how you allocate your farm, not what lane you go to. Just keep going and actually go for the tier three. Force them back. Force a lot of heroes at least there. Then Zai will be able to get something on the top lane. Oh, RTZ gets initiated on. Yeah. And two has a haste, so. They move in. There's the big burst. He's trying to raise up and take down Valix. Will get that kill. Almost gets Boogie. Turns wow. back. Oh, almost got him right there. Man. Boogie barely alive. Walks away. But Zai's oh, right there nice. to say, how you doing? Gets the kill with the Burrow Strike. Ends up being a two-for-one trade. Arteezy should end up being happy about that. Plus, they got that tier two on the bottom lane. Sun Zai, who's able to Burrow Strike towards the Wisp. And, yep, there he goes into the Sandstorm. And without the proper detection, they just don't feel comfortable moving forward, which is probably the best bet because Secret had rotated a couple up here. And they yeah, but they saw, yeah, they saw that rotation with the ward that they have there. Yeah, see on the oh, right over here, side, right so. on the right side. Yeah. yeah. You're right. There it is. Good ward scouts out the TPs, and they know the right time to pull out, and it forces Secret to kind of be elsewhere. Though I imagine Secret were probably intending to kind of move elsewhere regardless because they Look already mid. got the job done bottom. They're going yeah. on RTC again. They sleep them. This might actually be another kill. Yep, Zeus. Oh, wow. Oh, Requiem from the high Zeus. ground. They didn't quite finish him off. He's going to live. There goes the Sonic Wave. They're going to get two. Oh, no. oh. That was a huge misplay by the Zeus. He didn't bottle up during the time he was slept, so he didn't have mana for both the spells. And you saw he only he cast an ult, and then he didn't have mana for Lightning Bolt. And I think even if he just used the Lightning Bolt now, and S4 is rotated, so I don't think they can get this kill. Well, they do relocate. Oh, they, they do get relocate puppy. for it, so yeah. they're going to get it, actually. Bane does go down. If they... Wow. And suddenly it's That's four very anchors big. who get a big fight there. That was a good relocate. They they yeah. certainly needed it. But look at that. Very on the way good back. relocate. Kuroki's right there and just welcomes back the Wisp with a finger and takes him out immediately. Does make it a two for two trade though. So not too Yeah, shabby. that was oh Bane is position position really nice to hear. He could go out there and grip S4. Mm -hmm. he's on this creep here. Hi, how's it going? He's gonna get it. Quick Fiend's grip plus relocate S4. He's done. Quick smack, nice. and it's Tiny who gets the kill of all people. And Secret tried to go for Roche here, but then they got scared. They got scared, and they left Roche Pit. I am not sure that 4 ESC actually knew about it, but they just left the Roche Pit, because they maybe thought... Oh no, Zeus actually did use Zeus also. They obviously saw them. Oh. I bet. Uh-oh, Trixie though. Might not be able to make it away here. Give me Yule's up. Has Supernova, but yeah, not, not going to look to use it just to yeah. attempt to save himself and have that egg get broken anyway. So he'll, he'll go down. Yeah. Good grab for secret, seven to five. If they can go in, but yeah, RTZ gets sent back. Yeah, well, looks like it will be the call to pull back and away. Fortunately for four anchors, who's pretty good at bursting back these pushes and keeping them in check, but secrets still have plenty of time on this Aegis to work with if they want to just kind of step back, farm up, itemize, and then make another go. They can always parade down that mid lane once more. They still have a tier two in the top lane they can take from four anchors. And now that four anchors have Push back secret. What do they need to do at this point to try to bring the relocate game back? Relocate the bottom. They're going to relocate the bottom. That's a good call, Pie Cat. There they are. They show up. They get a couple of sweet kills. Well, at least they get the kill into S4, but they have already lost a couple of supports. As it's still for secret here, they will go back towards the jungle side and continue their farming period, but still a good engagement for secret at the end, taking down the two. Yeah, two for one trade, two for one special. Uh, going. Now to go on to Arteezy up here. He's actually alone. Oh, good this toss. This is dangerous. Oh, and oh. Sai misses the Epi completely. I, that might be from the Zeus and his passive and its huge range. Arteezy comes back, wow, tries Arteezy to get the Requiem, go down twice. and he gets tossed. Requiem does end up going off, but it's not enough to burst anyone down. Well, the Zeus does end up getting killed from it, That's actually. really big. But yeah, that was very awkward, and I... Obviously can't check back on the tape, but the one thing is when you're going against this Zeus and you check, you don't no, think he'll team, go for uh, an E-Blade just to make it that much more potent of a finger? No. Oh, oh. Uh, potentially in late game you could do that, especially against a hero like Tiny. And I mean, they have the one core Tiny, right? So he's the only one who's going to be dealing damage later on. And to E-Blade your allies is very nice. But you can do that with a four staff too, I think. So That's true. That's true. Plus you could risk uh, getting annihilated from Zeus. So got to be careful about yeah. that. But Okay. Well, the E Blade doesn't actually hit both targets anymore. It's only oh. one. Oh, hold on. They get that Yules on the Matama Man. There's a raise. There's a kill. Doesn't take that much effort. Up even comes in from behind to help out. And now it's Secret back towards the mid lane here. Uh, four Anchors trying to get everyone to come back to the base to defend here. Trixie, one of the lone defenders for now. They're, yeah, and uh, when they kill the suits like this. Trying to take one away from Secret. Secret. Doesn't look like here, at least from oh, the bottom lane they know, but... good if they can get this, but oh. I think this is hard. 
secrets here. This is gonna be very hard before I see. Get this Roche. TZ dancing with them. Step back toss. Pass That's the pop is PKB. PKB. Oh, oh Nephi's in That's trouble. That's a late BKB. Yeah. Okay, well, he's eating a lot of right click. The finger's there. Now pops his BKB. He's kind of in a disarray as far as what Arteezy. to do. He goes go down. down, and yeah, they got Arteezy with it. Nephi, he's alive and well, and it looks like he's going to have to TP back to base. Wow. Valix left in, though, wow, will wow, be wow. bursted and taken down, and it's Puppy with the double kill. As they trade off the sleep, they want to be able to get hold of one of the last four anchors members here. It's Boogie. They close the gap and they take down the Bane. It started a bit questionable there for Secret, but they end up taking down four. And if they'd like, they can move back towards the Roche pit now. Yeah, and this fight is going to get the good old-fashioned LD. Wow. Oh, yeah. Tiny managing there to get out the end of his PKP duration. We'll see. As they always know best. The AKN, 9 km MMR Twitch chat <laughs> or whoever. Well, look at Secret here as they put themselves... Okay, as far as like, I'll just take that tower, no problem. <laughs> Walks in. He does have the Aegis, so he's, he's pretty comfortable. And yeah. Wisp and Tiny, they're on their own expedition. They're going to start pressuring high ground there. Almost 16 on 10 with X. Oh, and of wow. God. Zai moves in, gets the stun of Matama Man, plus the Sonic Wave, just as S4 goes down. Arteezy thinks about unleashing the Requiem, cancels it out, goes again right Arteezy? here. He's going to go down again. Yeah, Nephi's going to just beat the hell out of him right here. Boom. Boom. Takes him down. Wicked sick for him. Egg goes off. Yeah. Onto S4, who had his BKB up. Uh oh. Could go down here. Uh oh. It Long could maybe toss. Point? Nope. It's not going to reach. Oh, oh no, Phoenix. Oh, he could earn. And he get this kill. Nope, that's not going to happen. 1300 range blink, man. It's just so far, I can't even catch up with my camera. Jesus. This four slow the hell down. He does make it out, though. And that was an unideal situation, it feels like, for Secret, as they were just trying to make a push happen. They do get the tier three, but they do... Actually target that, and he could have an issue with the Hex as well. That would have been probably a kill. Uh-oh, boom! Turn back stun on Tazai. He's got to get the hell away from that beast. And he will. They need to get... Yeah, get, Bane's gonna go down. Get Bane out of there, they're trying to kill you. Get to the chopper! Ah. They gotta get the hell out. Valix, boom, caught. Burrow Strike connects. Ah. S4 is gonna take him down, he's done. Double kill for S4. And, uh, well, Secret, they don't have too much trouble kind of taking, taking apart the rest of four anchors outside of the tiny. And they'll continue to just kind of get the extra little benefits from all that little gold. I mean, the good thing for four anchors is their supports will be able to come back. But their raxes are exposed and Secret are moving in. That's an Atos. Who has an Atos? Uh, the Phoenix? Yeah. Oh. He's got the Atos. Interesting. Uh-oh. Finger flies out. That's an Agnum's finger. Trying to go for Nemphi here. Nemphi walks away. Hand to God. Nemphi goes down. 80 seconds. Does have buyback. The egg will explode. Doesn't quite stun anyone on the side of Secret. They just kind of Maybe the Tiny bites out. back when the Wisp respawns and they relocate bottom. And they can maybe cancel a few ports. And they oh. could take the Rex for sure. That would be... Uh, the Creeps are actually going to die now, so... The wave is not too far away. So no, the they relocate into the fight, actually. Just behind the front door. They want Arteezy. They move in. Yep. He's... Our tour is dead. Yeah. Baby Rage. See, we'll go down. Well, Baby Rage indeed. Not the Probably big uh, backdoor play we were, we were hoping for, but they are able to bring down the Shadow Fiend in a response. You can't ever catch a Sanking if he's actually somewhat paying attention. You can just, you know, force away, stun away, sandstorm. Very hard to catch uh -oh, him. Oh, they see Arteezy. Veil goes Arteezy out. Now the egg. Again. He's going to be eating a lot of damage here, hand to God, but it only takes four oh, swats. Nice nope. Force staff. Yeah, the force but is there, but the egg pops. Anyway. And that's stun. They have the Aegis on Tony. Can they make it through with this, though? Nempi doesn't even have to use his first life. Gets the stun off and starts swatting away, but here comes Zai. Epi takes him to the high ground here. Nephi will lose his Aegis. Meanwhile, Yeah, S4, he's just going to die here again because... Yeah, everyone's dead. It's hard. They can just kite him. They will just stun him. Your raid boss here. Probably no won't get an really attack off. Away. Even Arteezy buying back, anticipating that they can easily push into the Four Acres base by this point. Yeah, because they know he has buyback, so... it's cool. I mean, it's cooldown. Uh, he doesn't have buyback at the moment. Yep. Oh, and you Trixie. see here the ATOS saving Trixie, so... All right. Nice pickup. <laughs> All for that one moment right there. <laughs> Keeps him alive even though the game is not looking so good. The Atos 
<laughs> works for him. Mid lane Rex will end up going down. It's looking like Secret are on the verge of being able to tie up this series one to one and force it into a game number three. And for four anchors, though, they have a grossly farmed tiny. Problem is, is when you have so much weight on one side and your supports have really nothing else, uh, you end up having a lot of trouble here. And look at the freaking army that Puppy's got. These big goobers here. They're ancient He's granite got the golems. double golem. Yeah, He's these got guys the, the tiny bros. Or the roast bros. It's like, nice tiny you got there. I got two of them. Yeah. They're, they're doing work. They just look at them. Look at the them top. bang on those towers. What are you going to do about it? You can't, can't hit them with magic. I don't care about that crap. Easy right click. They take down the tier three. And this is the final hurrah for four anchors. Zai very low. Bane's going to go down. S4 now moving on in. Matama man going to get tossed up Yules. And yeah, Kuroki, godlike on this lion. 9 0. Oh. Unbelievable performance for him as he's able to zap down another one right there. And this is the final racks to drop. Four anchors probably already putting their heads into the game of game three. Because yeah. this one is all over. GG's called. There it is. Kuro wants to pick up his, his Dagon 4. He's got three recipes on the base, but won't make it in time. Yeah, but yeah, good play from him. Right, and, so uh, that felt more like a, a secret matchup there. Um, yeah, four it anchors. Did. I think Secret got a, a draft that they were much more comfortable with than the last game. I mean, all other heroes, Kuros played a lot of Lion, Poppy Chen, Dai, Sanking, S4, Quap, and RTC, SF. I mean, they're just they're just completely in their comfort zone, and 